What is up guys, Gian here of Gadget Pilipinas. Welcome back to the channel. Today is a very exciting day for me because I just got my hands on the brand new ROG Phone 8 Pro. And as a long time fan of Asus gaming phones, I've been looking forward to this release for months now. In fact, I saw this during CES 2024 in Las Vegas and really got even more hyped up when Sasha told me the new things that this one has to offer. You can check the full video on this site. I also dropped a link on the description box below. Now, let's open it up and check out what's inside the box. As always, with ROG phones, the packaging looks awesome with the Republic of Gamers logo prominently displayed. If you're a fan of AR or interactive unboxing experience, the ROG Phone 8 Pro does have this kind of cool AR experience as they've done so in the past. Inside, you've got the phone, Nice, I'll come back to that beauty in a second. Underneath, there's the usual paperwork and SIM card ejector tool. We've also got a beefy 65 watts hypercharged power adapter, a USB-C to USB-C cable, and yep, there's also this case that will still allow you to see the P-MOLED ROG Vision display at the back. And let's not forget the AeroActive cooler, the latest one, that will allow you to use on the ROG Phone 8 Pro. All right, now for the main event, the ROG Phone 8 Pro in Phantom Black. Man. This looks really slick. Asus talked about a new Gen 3 design language, and you can definitely see some differences from the previous generations. The new design makes it less of a gaming smartphone and now closer to being a lifestyle device, which I am really a fan of. Now don't get me wrong, this is not about me disliking the gamer aesthetic, but it's more of me appreciating a blend of the gaming and lifestyle take on a smartphone like this. Now the bezels are way thinner now thanks to the punch hole selfie camera, making for a 94% screen to body ratio on this gorgeous 6.78 inch E6 AMOLED display. Now this is the first time for an ROG phone to have this kind of camera cutout in front. Now, despite the thinner profile, the signature ROG aesthetic is still here with its gaming bells and whistles. For example, check out this crazy new P-MOLED ROG Vision display on the back. Now, there's really a, a P-MOLED display here. It can show customizable graphics and animations for a unique look. I will talk more about this in my full review, but what this essentially does is it gives you quick contextual information about certain notifications and settings. Now, if you're taking a photo of someone, it will show a countdown or a camera icon. If you want to show certain notifications like new SMS or battery information, for example, the ROG Vision display can give you that. It's just really nice to see something like this on a smartphone and it's just there waiting for you to either enable or disable it. Now, the build quality feels outstanding as expected. The matte glass bag has a very premium texture to it. No? It is also awesome that they managed to make this IP68 rated for dust and water resistance. First time for a gaming phone, I believe. Now, what I do not like here is it tends to get very slippery, which begs its owner to invest on a full protective case. Now. Let's check out the software. Booting up for the first time, the 165Hz refresh rate is immediately noticeable with buttery smooth animations. Swiping around feels fast and responsive. And as a longtime fan of ROG phones, I'm digging the UI tweaks they've done on the Zen UI on Android 14. Very clean look. Now let's take a look at the Armory Crate app that will allow you to switch into X mode for maximum performance. You can now hear it in the background. Now, this is also uh, the application that would allow you to monitor hardware stats uh, like uh, CPU speed, uh, temperature, and RAM usage. And with Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip, 24 gigs of RAM, and at least in this case, one terabyte of storage, this thing is an absolute beast. And yeah, I also checked if there are any AI implementations on this gaming smartphone, and yeah, it does have some, especially on the gaming side of things, and cameras. And of course, I will be exploring all of these AI features when I drop my full review very, very soon. Now, looking at the cameras, the new triple rear setup is really versatile. That gimbal stabilization on the 50 megapixel main sensor is amazing. I see they now also have three times optical zoom telephoto, and you can also do up to two times zoom when taking selfies. You know what, speaking of selfies, selfies should be on point with the 32 megapixel front camera. Can't wait to test all of these out, no? 
Now, squeezing the size of the phone seems to not work for me whenever I'm using it. This used to work, no, but I will have to check uh, my friends at, uh, at Asus how this one can be triggered. But the ultrasonic air trigger buttons feel as tactile as ever. In fact, they even, I think it even improved it. It is such a key feature for mobile gaming, especially on ROG phones, and I'm glad that they kept it. All right. So those are my first impressions of the ROG Phone 8 Pro straight out of the box. I'm definitely excited to dive deeper into the gaming tests, uh, camera samples, and battery benchmarks, and even performance benchmarks. But for now, Asus requested that we hold off from posting uh, benchmarks, the performance benchmarks, because this is not yet the retail unit. We usually still do that, especially for unboxing and first impressions. But since this is not a retail unit, we were requested not to publish any for now. But we will do that once we drop our full review. So make sure you're subscribed. Now let me know what features you want me to focus as well in the full review. Until next time, see you guys later. Bye.